One of One Piece's biggest plot holes has finally been answered. And this video will contain manga spoilers all the way up to chapter 1086. And the big plot hole surrounds the Gomu Gomuno, or the Sanganika fruit. And the big plot hole starts right here in chapter 1037 with the Gorose. An agent at the Seas of Wano turns around and sees Zunisha, and he tells the Gorose, I see a huge shadow, but I think it's an island. Gorose then say, no, that's impossible, that fruit hasn't awakened in centuries. And then Shepard said, then why would the world government bother to give that one specific devil fruit another name? And the plot hole reads as such, if the government knew about the importance of the gum gum fruit, why wouldn't they make it more important to go after Luffy? And that's because they weren't privy to the real name of the gum gum fruit either. But at least, at first. Until this meeting right here with Shanks. When he said, there's a pirate I want to talk to you about. I.e. the boy they just thought was a rubber boy. Was truly the one that wielded the human human model's son Ganika fruit. Or the old Joy Boy. And they became more aware of the fact that it awakened because of the return of Zunisha, Joy Boy's companion. Remember, Vegapunk even told us there was no such thing as the gum gum fruit. And by the shock on Jupiter's face, they weren't aware of that fact either. And the reason why the fruit's name was changed was to erase the fruit's name from the nulls of history. Also, herein lies the problem. Remember, who's who was imprisoned for 12 years because he lost the gum gum fruit to Shanks? But, if even the Gorse thought the gum gum fruit was just the gum gum fruit, why would they imprison who's who? And also, in chapter 1 when we learned that Shanks stole the gum gum fruit, how would Shanks know of its importance? Well, since the Gorse didn't know, it had to be told by Shanks, it's possible that the person that won the gum gum fruit weren't the Gorse, but actually the Holy Knights. The person who knew about it was St. Garland Fingerland. Same person that had relations to Shanks who also knew about the importance of the gum gum. And the reason why Who's Who was sent to jail was because of St. Garland Fingerland, the person who could even judge a celestial dragon. And if the Gorosei didn't even know about the name change, it's only possible that someone above them is the one who did it. Descendants of the Fingerland family, and it's highly possible that they're one of the first 20 kingdoms. And remember, in this chapter, Ivankov said, could anyone but their people from the original 20 command the world nomos, or the five elder planets? If the Fergalan family was just another celestial dragon family, even if Shanks is related to the leader of the Holy Knights, he still shouldn't be able to get an audience with the Gorosei. Unless he's a descendant of the first 20. An heir to the Fergalan family. Why is the gum gum fruit so important to the Fergalan family? Because Garland Fergalan was the king of God Valley. God Valley, the place where that Garp earned the name the Naval Hero. But also the time he had to protect the celestial dragons and their slaves. God Valley, a place that held celestial dragons and slaves. To the slaves of God Valley, the sun god Nika was possibly their god. Who's who told us? Apparently there was a figure that slaves would pray to in the long distant past, a legendary warrior they believed would one day free them, Sunga Nika. Human human model Sunga Nika fruit would later on change to the gum gum fruit to hide that truth. Until now, with the boy that not only bears the moniker D, but also has the same devil fruit they feared the most. And just like chapter one told us, Luffy's great voyage of destiny has begun. The faded path of him becoming Pirate King and challenging the 20 kingdoms.